Hello. Oh. So, we've officially hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I didn't think that would happen, ever, but it is. So, this is going to be my 100 subscriber special. It's not extravagant. It's not fun. It's not fancy. It's just me. Um, so a lot's happened. Uh, I was driving home and my air suspension decided to explode. So um, that's why there's no bumper on the car it's over here um because the nice man driving the tow truck decided to let me take off my splitter and subsequently my front bumper before he towed me away because the car was literally on the ground and there was no way that wasn't gonna get broken so that happened and on top of that, also, uh, my AccuSump is finito. The seals are done. The valve is also on the way out, as I found out when I went to go do an oil change. And I had the valve closed, and it didn't close. Um, and all the oil went into the AccuSump instead of the motor. So... It's fine, because the motor still had like three and a half liters in there, theoretically. Mental math. But uh, that wasn't fun. That wasn't a fun surprise. So, that's probably going to be out, because I really don't feel like buying another system. And I don't know anyone up here that rebuilds those. And I just want it out. I've uh, I've talked to uh, my buddy Patrick, who does endurance racing in the exact same car, to a much higher degree of uh, finesse than I ever could imagine at this point in time, and he says that he doesn't run one at all, and uh, it's been like that for the last three years, and they haven't had a problem. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to get a, a Killer B pickup tube. And I'm gonna do some research. I'm thinking maybe the uh, the updated Moroso uh, oil pan baffle. I might put that in. Uh, the... <laughs> the only thing I'm dreading is uh, I really don't like the idea of having to drop the exhaust manifold again, but that's just life. Um, yeah. And in terms of suspension, I think I want to try and do a lapping day with the stock FRS shocks in there because I haven't really tried that yet. But I think the ultimate goal for me is I do want to invest in some Fortune 500s um, just because I really want to move away from air suspension and get more competitive with time attack so uh traditional springs and shocks are going to be a major part of that and it'll help with reducing uh sprung weight because there will be no more compressor no more tank no more lines the aki sump's going to be gone so again you know no more wiring debauchery no more lines running everywhere heating shit up no more big tank with the bracket blah 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 um, I also want to experiment with uh, some homemade um, aero parts. Uh, I am now a brand ambassador for Varus, but Varus parts um, are kind of out of my budget for what I'd be doing. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to buy a few sheets of Alumalite very thin um it's kind of like aluminum cardboard if you can think of something like that 
in your head and I've already kind of mocked it up with regular cardboard, but basically um, I want to try and make my own variant of their transmission tunnel coverage. And then I want that to translate into rear suspension covers. Uh, and I'm thinking eventually I'm going to trim the plastic uh, bumper diffuser thing here. And as you can see from my cardboard, it's probably pretty dark in here. I'm sorry, I don't have a light. Uh, I'm going to attempt to make my own diffuser. Uh, whether I'll be using ran, uh, standard sheet aluminum for that or alumilite, I'm not too sure at the moment. Depends how workable the alumilite is uh, for making bends and angles and stuff like this. But yeah, uh, originally I was thinking to just uh, make a short tunnel here and then trim up high here and make two other tunnels. But um, with the exhaust and the way on the sides, I would have to make a whole new exhaust starting at the Y pipe that comes out through the center and is raised up more. And that sounds expensive and complex and I don't really want to do that. So I've looked up some more designs. I think what I'm going to do is I'm still going to trim around here just because this side especially it does it has been burning the plastic a little bit and it looks you know meh. so i'm gonna cut it a little bit maybe um and then i'm gonna make my own out of like sheets of aluminum and i'm gonna do some like string uh testing for attachment and flow and whatnot and then in the front uh, I want to do the same thing. I want to make some cuts in my front splitter and basically I'm going to make um, two uh, tunnels that are going to pick up air in the front and kind of like exhaust it into the wheelhouse away and in front of the tire to try and make more front downforce. And then uh, maybe I'll buy uh, various end plates just because I don't really know if I can make their end plates in the same fashion. And, you know, they've done actual testing for the end plate versus me where I'm just kind of like looking at it and I'm like, mm, yeah, that'll work. Um, I want to make as well my own uh, splitter air dam to kind of seal between the bumper and the splitter itself, because when I took this off, I noticed there was a lot of crap getting in between the gap of the bumper and the splitter. So if I can try and like negate some of that so that there's more of a, a high pressure zone on the top of the splitter to make more downforce, then I feel like that's gonna be really beneficial, especially a Mossport where the cornering speeds are like, you know, in excess of like, 100 kilometers an hour usually like you turn eight you're taking it at like 145 150 so that would be of great benefit um yeah those are pretty much all my plans for uh for valerie for 2024 i want to do more hpd days i want to get better as a driver as well like um i take a lot of inspiration from patrick like that where i don't want to uh just keep making the car better i also want to get better but at the same time like i really do enjoy the uh reward factor of making the car feel better handle better and whatnot so you know it, it's a fine balance like i don't think what i'm doing is out of the realm of uh sanity so to speak but um I'm going to have to check the PIP schedule. I'm probably going to be right at the brink of GTA. If not, it's going to push me into super GTB class. So that'll be interesting to kind of figure out. But um, yeah, I just want to get really serious about time attack now and bettering myself as a race car driver. So I hope you guys will join me for that. And uh, there'll be more videos to come of this project. So stay tuned.